Hello, my name is Chantal Coble and I'm a Bergen Fellow at the School of Celtic Studies in the Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. I have chosen the Celticist Nessany Hay because of her scholarly legacy as a textual scholar and cataloguer of medieval Irish manuscripts. Nessany Hay's academic career began in Dublin in the 1930s. Nessa was employed in 1937 by Gerard Murphy on the Laura Olavsgrievne project, where she was tasked with preparing editions of previously unpublished Irish language texts from Irish manuscripts. Nessa undertook the work on the, this project with great energy and motivation and published a number of volumes in the project series, including Agalov Nushanorch. In later years, she went on to publish several editions of poems, and her proudest accomplishment was her scholarly edition of Thoriach the Irmada August Grania, published by the Irish Tech Society in 1976. Indeed, the general public might also be familiar with Nessa's school edition of Thoriach the Irmada August Grania. Apart from such textual endeavours, her interests and strengths also encompassed the Irish manuscript tradition, and her knowledge and familiarity of Irish scribes was second to none. Throughout her career, Nessa published important articles such as Collectors of Irish Manus Manuscripts, Motives and Methods, and Irish Scholars and Scribes in 18th Century Dublin. However, Nessa Nee Hay's biggest achievement in her career is her cataloguing work. This resulted in her publishing 11 fascicules of the Catalogue of Irish Manuscripts at the National Library of Ireland. To say that the scale of the work that she undertook was enormous would be an understatement. For instance, the first fascicule covers the contents of 14 manu vellum manuscripts, which have a total of 1,642 written pages. These catalogues are important to us as scholars today, as they elucidate the origin, the later history, the scribes and contents of these important manuscripts many texts which might have otherwise gone unnoticed by scholarship. The most notable example being the Poems of Blothfuck, which James Carney subsequently edited in the Irish Tech Society series. In her final article, published posthumously, Nessa Nee Hay published a number of fragmentary quatrains which were omitted in James Carney's edition and where she identified the hand and the later history of the manuscript. Nessany Hay made these substantial contributions to her field while she was working on temporary and part-time contracts throughout her entire academic career, as well as juggling the demands of rearing children and supporting her family. She set high standards in cataloguing Irish manuscripts, which are still adhered to by scholars today. Indeed, her catalogues, editions and articles are testament not only to her immense dedication, but also to her meticulous, accurate and scientific approach to her research. Furthermore, she always demonstrated generosity in her scholarship, as well as a willingness to consult others and duly acknowledge their contributions in her work. <laughs>